toss up whether and Sora. Of these characters. Oh, we play Sora now too. No, I don't know who's playing. It's. Um, oh, we we got Sora, not Little Mac. I see. Got okay, well, it. Got good, it. Good for Car XM. Uh, dropping Little Mac. Very proud of you. The cloud buffs definitely got everyone pulling they, their pocket they got, cloud. They got people a lot pretty hype, which much to your demise since you are not mm, a cloud fan. I'm not a cloud fan. But mm. starting on Battlefield, we'll see. I mean, this is you know pretty new matchup. Sora, yeah, obviously the most recent character, so. Not a lot, you know, solved about this matchup, but Cloud, you know, just one of those characters where I feel like they can apply a pretty general game plan to, like, most of the matchups in this yeah, game. Yeah, and honestly... Just a very solid, fundamental character. Right, and Cloud can add so much pressure. Like, mm -hmm. you avoid, let's say, a fair, but, oh, but Cloud can also toss out a back air, yep. so you can't, like, punish the fair. Yep, yeah. And he's he's that pretty difficult to punish. Uh, and that back air um, lands in like such a parallel manner that it's just like straight on. Look at that. Yeah. Already out. Already. And the honestly, Karakson hasn't been doing a lot of things that you want to do as Sora to rack up a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the hits that he's gotten have not been uh, not been super lucrative. Yeah. Look at that. Um, Karakson, I'm trying to like either parry them, parry these moves, or um, spot dodging. But Ruth and um. Cloud in general has like a little delay to some of his moves mm -hmm. that makes you think like, hey, it's gonna get in this frame, but it's actually not. Catching him with the back air on the on the side B. Ooh, you know what? I feel like Sora has a bit of a difficult time snapping to the ledge of that side B. I think with a bit a bit better timing, that uh, that limit blade beam is going to hit much more consistently on the ledge. So that's definitely something that uh, Car XM has to watch out for. Yeah, and honestly, when you play Cloud, you gotta really be on the lookout for a lot of things. You gotta mm -hmm. um, parry a lot of Cloud's moves. You yep. gotta really push Cloud to the ledge because mm -hmm. um, once he loses its jump. Ooh. Oh, wow, okay. Wow. That was a very Catching convincing. Him off stage. You know, Sora, a character with a really great recovery, but um, he's a floaty still. So he's still, you know, not the hardest to catch in certain situations. Uh, he can still. He's still in, you know, a pretty general area at at many times that like become easy to hit, like you just saw with that uh, limit cross slash. Ralph, mm -hmm. I feel like that game, his his center stage presence was just immense. And anytime Karakem tried to like, he was always playing from the ledge, and he really he always tried to, you know, like right here in this replay, you can see that he was trying to inch more towards the center of the stage, and and Ralphie or Ruth was just having none of it. Ooh, oh, switching wow. to the here little Mac. Oh wow! Here we are into the little Mac, and honestly, in little Mac's best stage, final FD, destination itself. On FD, no platform camping here. We'll see. You know, still not like this character's still bad, but this is their best stage. Honestly, and if you're like gonna go against um. Little Mac, the first instinct for most people is to just push them off stage. Mm. But if you come into that mindset and refusing to play them in uh, center stage, Lil Mac's gonna dominate the match and you're gonna be like so focused Ooh. on trying to push um, it to the side. Yeah, getting hit right there. <laughs> Fat down smash. Ooh, counter in the middle of the stage. And Little Mac a lot more mobile on the ground and Sora. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, no, wait, no. Oh, no. We are, oh, we are oh. living. A lot faster, so possibly going to be easier for Karakzem to get into the middle of the stage and, and play from a advantageous position. But like you just wow. said, you know. I don't know if you saw that, but um, Ralphie just did an up B mm. to like, um, you know, up B out of shield, right. cloud up Bs. And he got caught. But um, because Karakzem's um, jab has a little bit of a armor to it, it like didn't go through and honestly mm. if you lose your up the out of shield if you lose your like tough. number one out of shield option and the, the 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 armor coming in once again you know little mac like very strange to play against because you have to be mindful of that stuff because you know he's he's a joke off stage but on the stage stuff like that like you can't you can't you can't box with this guy uh yeah. all, pretty often but i mean you know root's still up honestly that was such a really good play on ruth on um Karakzem's second stop where I believe he did a nair, and then um, Karakzem landed at the perfect moment to uh, still be in the air but not touch the ledge, mm -hmm. and um, did a limit. Um, yeah, he is just beam. he is just bullying him off stage with these with these limit moves. Even in the Sora game, I mean, like you saw before, let's see how he's gonna make it back. You know, 
Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Mac on FD pretty scary. Far oh, made it back? Wow. is just not able to get back on stage. Yeah. Uh, like in a matter of seconds, he's already at 100%. Mm -hmm. And he it's takes, only from yeah. Ruth pushing him off stage. Yep, I mean, just like ooh, 30. That's crazy. Oh, yikes. 56. <laughs> Big damage output coming from uh, Little Mac. But yeah, it's like you just said. He's he's having some difficulty coming back to the stage. Ooh, and that dash yeah. attack. He, that's not the first time he used that this set. This, it was very effective. in Because uh, mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you get Little Mac in a situation where he slips away and he, and, he, mm -hmm. and he gets his chance to go back to the ledge. But character like Cloud with that dash attack, going to be able to catch that anyway. A lot of times you miss your chance and now, you know, it can be a bit tough to to kill him in that situation, but not not for Ruth with that dash attack. Very very good stuff. Playing the matchup uh, uh, very well, I would mm -hmm. say. You know, because mm -hmm. he was he was getting he was getting he was getting. You know, they were rocking and rolling in the in the in the middle of the stage. You know, in neutral because he was getting hit for sure. But mm -hmm. he just mm -hmm. played off stage and ledge so effectively that you can't really keep up. And that's that's what makes little you know little Mac the as low of a, a, a tier character as he is. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, um, Ralph, Ruth has been playing such a great job, really good at like adapting against mm -hmm. the character that he has to play. Yep. Um, and just so good at like pushing your pushing their opponent to the other side and mm -hmm. like playing off of the ledge and off stage. Yeah. That's really where he um, was the strongest. Um, although in the Sora match in the Sora matchup, he um, played along with both gathered most of its damage in center stage and then um, did all the killing and all the, like the early kills yeah. um, off stage. In both of those games, I mean, the off stage presence was just was just very scary and very effective. Uh, oh. In in the Sora game, I feel like he he had to work a little bit harder to stop Car XM's advances towards the center of the stage, a little more interactions. But in the in the Little Mac game, I mean, you know, the interaction would happen and it would be plain and simple. Now someone's at ledge, and, and then we go from there. And I mean, Ruth was just winning more of those interactions than than Karxem was. So mm -hmm. good stuff to him for that. For